Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this lesson, we're going to look at the steps to create a full backup of your computer running Windows 10 to an external USB hard drive. A full backup simply means a copy of everything included on your computer, such as the installation of Windows 10, files, apps, and settings. In this case, I will be using the backup and restore feature available on Windows 10. And yes, you can use these instructions to backup your computer and then restore everything on a new hard drive if you're replacing the storage on the same computer. However, the drive remember they have to be equal or larger in size. Okay, let's dive into the steps to create a full backup on Windows 10. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Okay, first, connect a USB hard drive with enough space to your computer, but do not use a USB flash drive. I'm referring to these guys because they are not a type of storage that is supported to create a backup. Now open start and look for settings and then open the app. Then go to update and security when the file backup page. From here, click the backup and restore option. And from here, click the create a system image option. Then select the drive that you want to use to store the backup and then click next. If you have multiple drives, you can select them here and those will be included on the backup and then click next and then click the start backup button. Now the backup process is going to take over and it will create a snapshot of everything on the computer. And from that snapshot is going to create a backup. You can continue working on Windows, but I do not recommend to create files or make system changes because anything that you do while the backup is being created will not be included on the actual system image. Now, after the full backup has been created, you'll be prompted to create a system repair disk, but you can actually skip this option because you can use the Windows Recovery Environment to restore the backup, or you can also use a USB bootable media that you usually use to install Windows 10 to actually access the tool and restore the backup. So here we're going to click the no button and then just close the application. Now, if you want to restore your computer from backup, do this, open start and look for settings. Then go to updating security and then open the recovery page. From here, under advanced startup, click the restart now button. Then click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then click on system image recovery. Now select your account and confirm your password. Now, as long as you have the USB hard drive with the backup connected to your computer, the system is going to recognize it and it's going to pull the most recent backup that it can use to restore your computer. If you want to select a different image, make sure to select that option and continue with the wizard by clicking next. Usually because the latest is going to be selected, we just need to use this option and then click next. Because we're restoring the full backup of Windows 10 on the same hard drive on the same computer, we don't have to do anything else on this page. However, if you were restoring the backup on another hard drive on the same computer, you will have the option to format and repartition the disk, but you will also use that if needed. Now click next. Finally, you just need to click the finish button for the recovery process to start and then the computer will restart and will boot straight into Windows 10. I don't have to restore the backup on this computer, so I'm going to click cancel and I'm going to exit from the Windows recovery environment. Now, if for some reason you can access the Windows recovery environment from the Windows 10 desktop, you can actually create a bootable media for Windows 10, and then you can use that to start your computer into the Windows setup. From here, you can click the next button, and then you will notice that we have the prepare your computer option. And if you click that, that will open the Windows recovery environment, but using the files from the bootable media. And then similar to the steps that I showed you earlier, we need just to go to the troubleshoot page. And from here, we can launch the system image recovery wizard. And from here, we can also restore the computer from backup. Also remember that your computer have to be configured to boot from USB. So if that's not the case, you need to change your BIOS settings. So make sure to check the video description for a link on the steps on how to do that. And then the recovery process is the same as before. Click next, next, 
and then we click finish to proceed with the restoration. I don't need to restore this computer from backup, so I'm going to cancel and I'm going to exit the bootable media. And that's it. That's the process to create a full backup of your computer running Windows 10, including all the installation files, your settings, apps, and your personal data. Also, we went through the steps to restore the computer using a backup with the Windows recovery environment that you can access from the settings app and also using a USB bootable media. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.